Okay, give me three. Okay, uh, Princess. Oh uh, wait. Just Princess. Disney. Yeah, Disney. Disney fans. Whoever. Yeah. All right. Uh, Gaston. Okay. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, I want to hear your thoughts on the Beauty and the Beast movie. Oh gosh. Uh oh. I don't think anybody wants to hear me complain. Uh oh. Let me think. I don't, there's so many Disney characters. There are All right, so many. Gaston. Uh huh. Oh, oh, uh, Smee. <laughs> okay. Or. <laughs> Phil from Hercules. Oh! <laughs> you're being mean. The Golden Trio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gonna push aside Phil from Hercules. All right. Sorry, Danny DeVito. Is that who it is? <laughs> Danny DeVito, right? Yeah, uh, you're right. He would sorry, not be Danny. good in any, any way. <laughs> I'm gonna hanky panky guest on. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna marry Smee. <laughs> marry Smee! Give him what he would dote on you. That's the thing. thing. Yeah. yeah, he's like very attentive and he would wait on me back and call. So it could be worse, yeah. I guess. Yeah, you're, you're his Captain Hook at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that was a rousing game. Thank you so much. What yeah. Can I say? What are your thoughts on the new Beauty and the Beast film? Um. That's how I feel about it. You no, haven't seen it, have you? No, yeah. no, 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 no. I've so seen We it. have a friend that has seen it who works for Nerdist. So I knew some people have like been to some. Oh yeah, no, I, I haven't seen. Yeah, Disney does not work with me. They don't need to. They they get it for free. <laughs> yeah. Why buy the cow? But uh, yeah. What what I generally think. With just in general, is that um, yeah, I'm not excited for it. <laughs> generally, yeah. generally. Have you seen in the general. other ones like Cinderella or? Jungle? I saw Cinderella on a plane. Uh -huh. It didn't interest me, but mm. then I saw it on a plane. I was like, well, All I got right. nothing else to do, yeah. and it was good. I liked it. Yeah, but I, I was I love sitting Kate there Blanchett, like, so I was like, oh yeah, so stoked. Kate like, Blanchett is she's amazing. Yeah, yeah, she is amazing. Yes. Did you see Blue uh, Velvet? Blue Velvet. Blue Jasmine. Blue Jasmine. Yeah. It was like blue valentine, blue velvet. Blue <laughs> I know, that's, that's what my blue. brain went through. Yeah. Yeah, she's the best. That, I saw it twice. She's my idol. Oh, really? Ooh, like, that's this... an intense week. I know, I watched it and I was like, I need to watch this with somebody else. <laughs> like, you know when you have, yes. like, you watch something and you're like, uh, you need to spread it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I did. I feel that, yeah. She's that's what so I do incredible. when I send my parents, like, articles, political articles. Oh, I yeah? want to watch them read it because I know they won't. Do your parents agree with you politically? No, no, no. And at you all. send them articles? I like we have a group chat with oh. my we're, yeah, I have three other siblings and we're trying like we're trying to subtly get them off Fox News and onto sure. something else, just anything else. Sure, sure. It's not like Fox News or Breitbart. Uh -huh. um, Did they read Breitbart? I don't know, my dad might. He loves conservative talk radio. Hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you, yeah. you should, you should, you should, uh, yeah. Mix. That's generally the thing when you watch one network, you're gonna get right. the spin of that network. Right. Which, like, can vary. Like, if you yeah. just watch MSNBC, then you're gonna probably be whatever they want you to be, mm -hmm. you know? If you just watch Fox News, then, mm -hmm. you know. Totally. That's that. Totally. But luckily, we live in a time where you can go to all sorts of places for news. You sure can. And I think, yeah, the younger generation will hopefully understand the power that they've been given. Mm. And not just, like, I, I don't know. I think also the, the same thing can be said is that all of these social media sites are algorithm-based. And so if you mm. watch one thing or click on one thing, then it will keep serving you that thing. That, for sure. And yeah. since people love to be mad... I'm like that's like a, a evolutionary like thing in our heads. Interesting. Like articles that make us mad are m way more likely to be shared because mm. we're like we can't get the word out. Mm. Um, so like everything is making us mad. That's really and interesting. It, yeah, it's a it's such a mess, and I don't think any of the sites are going to change because they have to get more eyes for longer right. time and everything. That's their whole shtick. Right. So totally. who knows? I think you have to be so you have to try so hard to be centrist. Like it takes active efforts and nobody has the time for it. So you just take what you can get from the headlines and then move forward with your day. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm, that's really interesting. Hmm. I mean, we totally, totally Beauty and the Beast. got off topic, <laughs> but I was so intrigued by that you send articles to your parents. If you would like to do some magnets, Yeah, yeah, I should. Free. I've just been Here's not scissors. No, you're crap. fine. And here are, here's cool. the magnet, and I'm just hot gluing them on because that works better than the craft glue. But if you wish to leave them just little stones, you can do that too. Yeah. So yeah, Beauty and the Beast. I hate to say anything definitive about something that I haven't seen yet. Sure. You know? Sure. What I generally think is uh, mainstream 
Hollywood and and films have to be universally accepted mm -hmm. by all sorts of countries. And mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. if you're trying to make a movie for China, mm -hmm. the U.S., India, and all of these other crazy worldwide markets, then mm -hmm. of course you're going to have to do things mm -hmm. like what they do. Interesting. So, they do what they got to do. Yeah. You know. I hadn't really thought of it that way, but you're totally right. They have, I mean, they have to make movies that make half a billion dollars. Yeah. And, like, a huge part of that is, yeah, making universe, universally acceptable films. Mm -hmm. Also not, like, offending China, for example. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. Because um, they won't show it, because <laughs> it's a communist country. Right. So. I had not even thought of that at all. I just had been thinking that I don't know if I like how some of the characters look. <laughs> oh, like who? Who? I just feel like all of the, well, not creatures, but all of the things, Mrs. Potts, Lumiere, they all look weird. They look weird. Don't you think? Yeah. They, look they, they all weird. look weird. I, I, there, there's something that's inherently, <laughs> that works, obviously, with that story, with animation, because it's a cartoon, and, but when you try and make it a real life thing, it's just, like, very <laughs> it's, bizarre. It's weird. And, like, kind There's of a scary. reason it was, these things were animated. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, and, I mean... I don't know. I'm excited to see it, and I'm very curious to see how they do certain things, but that's an interesting thing that I'm noticing. Whereas with, like, I felt like the Jungle Book did a pretty good job of making what is very unrealistic look realistic and look cool, and yeah. what I was super impressed by what Yeah, they the did. Jungle Book was, was cool. Right? It that was, was really, cool it was good. I really liked it, and I was, like, super swept away by it, and I never really cared for the Jungle Book animated film that much but this one I was like wow like this is the feeling that Disney movies gave me when I was a kid because I was just like this yeah. story this is so cool but shall we answer some questions from our lovely viewers let's do it why are you such nerds uh Great question. yeah that is a good question <laughs> just I just like nerdy stuff I guess yeah honestly uh what is being a nerd it's like I'm just very passionate about things yeah and there ain't nothing wrong with that honestly there isn't like Everybody's a nerd. Mm -hmm. Like, sports fans, nerds. That is so true. Uh, people who like the Olympics, nerds. Mm -hmm. People who like drinking, nerds. Nerds. <laughs> nerds. It's just I'm a nerd about storytelling. Mm -hmm. what is, what is, why is that specifically a nerdy thing? Yeah, that doesn't make It's actually a really difficult thing. It's super hard. Yeah, I agree. And honestly, really cool. Favorite musicals? Ooh. What are yours? I love Into the Woods. Into the Woods, that's a good one. I want to be in it so bad. As every role. Every role. <laughs> I, was, I was about to ask, like, Ooh. Not a bad female role in that show, which is so awesome and so rare. Not that they're bad, but so, oh, here, sorry. You, you do there it. are so many. I would love to, like, do it multiple times throughout my life and just move through everybody. Little yeah. Red, Cinderella, Baker's Wife, Witch. I think you could, yeah, you could destroy the baker's wife that would Thanks. be awesome that would be so cool yeah i really love that show um i love she loves me what is that um it was just on broadway last year with zachary levi what but it is i can't remember what came first it's the you've got mail story but it i think it's based on i don't know they're like in Poland or something. I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> but it's like You've Got Mail was based on Shop Around the Corner, which was based on this story that She Loves Me is um, an adaptation of or something. Cool. Um, so it's that story of like they know each other and they hate each other and then they fall in love. And it's really charming and lovely. And I did Brigadoon and it was weirdly amazing. Oh, Brigadoon's great. It is great yeah, music. It's so great. Yeah. And it's one of those that's so easy to do and it's not fun or if you do it well it's like wow oh uh, yeah sick. you know what i mean yeah what about yourself i'm into sweeney todd Ooh, it's sweeney some, todd's great some top five i like have you ever heard of light, light in the piazza yeah i okay. saw it with um kelly o'hara i believe you did not yeah I in did. new york no here i think it was with her she was years here? ago years and years ago damn it i would kill to see that yeah it was great i was in high school when like that came around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was, it, yeah, it's still very magical to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. like totally into it. Have you heard Dear Evan Hansen yet? I haven't heard it, but I hear everybody talking about it. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's chatting about it. Is it's it really good. good. I, I would I recommend you. I you tweeting about the, you had the song stuck in your head or something. Yeah, I like listened to it on the plane and oh, it was okay. very affecting. Ooh. It was one of those, it's, yeah, it's what one of it those about? like, it, um, I don't know. Okay, great. <laughs> like, it, they, like it, the, the music doesn't tell you and I haven't I looked see. it up. Interesting. Okay, but it's cool. like, uh, um, it sounds like 
it's pop music, like modern church music almost, but like to the nth degree. That's what a lot of like modern pop Broadway sounds like to me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's like church, but there's a reason those songs do well in church. And it's because it's like very, it's affecting music and it like, it's visceral and emotional. It's really interesting. Yeah. I hadn't it's really like, thought about it that way. Yeah. How do you feel about Hamilton? I have not heard it yet. I haven't either. Why? Why? You why? fool. Why? Why? Um, <laughs> I don't know, because when everybody's into something, I'm like, I'm okay. No way, really? Oh, yeah. Which is bad. Sorry, everyone. But my friend from college is apparently going on as Hamilton on Broadway right now, and I got so excited. What? I was like, what, Donald? That's insane. I got so stoked for him. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. He's super great, and I'm super happy for him. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but... But, uh, yeah, I guess maybe that'll be the thing that's like, okay, I'll listen to Hamilton now. Yeah, you, he should get you tickets, dude. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, again, I haven't talked to him in a long time, yeah. but College he was also friend. in The Wiz Live. He's been doing... Oh, um, cool. Yeah, he's, he's doing great. he's doing stuff. He's doing stuff. He's got stuff. So, yeah, I just haven't... I did see Philippa Sue in Amelie, and she was great at the Amundsen. Amelie? Yes. I was like, what is that? I've seen like a lot of billboards for that. Yeah, it was lovely. Right. I loved that movie, so I was excited to see that. Is there a musical that you like would love to do? Uh, that you wish you could be in? Nah. Nah? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I had Broadway dreams when I was younger. Did you? Um, but I just don't think it's for me. That's fair. I, I don't. scared. I don't think it's for me in terms of like, I don't want to go to Broadway and like try and make it as an actor out there because that yeah. seems even harder than here, so no thanks. But like a dream role or anything? Okay. Um, yeah, probably Into the Woods. I would love, I do love, I enjoyed doing Spies so much. And I oh, love yeah. doing musicals. That was so good. Hey, it was so good. Thanks. You were great in it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it was literally my nightmare, so. <laughs> so sorry we did that to you. <laughs> yeah. John was okay. one of our princes one night, and he... I had no concept. Didn't know what was going on, because it, it was the first night. It was opening. Yeah, and everyone was just like, trust us, it'll be fine. And everyone had a different story for what was going on, and I was like, do I have to be in front of people? They were like, just a little, and I was like, I just felt like I was in a trap. I was I'm like so a caged sorry. animal. That's like, horrible. No. I would hate that too. I wouldn't like, to, yeah. I would It was like fine, ultimately. It was like, that's the point, is for me to be confused. Yeah. But I was like, I'm not that kind of person. Mm-hmm. Like, I need to know what's going on, mm-hmm. or I get freaked out. Like, yeah, I want to be able to control whatever I'm doing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I'm a control freak. I am too. Okay, cool. What's your Hogwarts house? Uh, Slytherin. I thought, I thought you were Slytherin. Yeah. That's great. Oh, I'm in Gryffindor. How do you deal with lack of motivation? Interesting. Lack of motivation. Do you feel that? Of course, I yeah. I don't feel that. Really? I'm a crazy person. And yeah, that is crazy person to I'm talk. I'm never not motivated. <laughs> oh, my stars. I have a hard, oh, my stars. I have a hard time chilling out and letting myself relax. Hmm. That's a good quality, though. Well, it, is it? It is. It is if you don't let it overtake your life. Right. And so I'm trying to get better at that, for yeah. sure. How do you stay motivated? I don't know. I don't have the an answer. I know what I do to stay motivated is check out. If, like, I'm struggling with a project mm-hmm. and I'm, like, beating my head against a wall and, like, every day I'm spending hours on it and it's not going anywhere and mm-hmm. I'm, like, something's wrong mm-hmm. and I need to fix something else mm-hmm. for a while mm-hmm. and then I can come back you and to, fix like, this. You like, take time thing. away from it. Right, yeah. And I want to fix, I think that's just what I do is I want to fix things and I see problems and I'm like, Mm-hmm. I, I want to I wanna be the one to champion it. Mm-hmm. I want to be the hero. Mm-hmm. I get that. Yeah. I've definitely got a bit of that. When is your birthday? April 26th. What are you then? A Taurus. Taurus, okay. I'm Aries, but I'm an early Aries. But you and I have a lot of things in common. As you're mm-hmm. talking, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so when I'm not motivated, I uh, I just shift my gear and work on something else mm-hmm. for a while, mm-hmm. and then I'll come back. And now I've figured out, like, I have a few pillars of things that I can work on, mm. and I think of them in, that, in those terms. So I'm like, when I'm not working on, like, writing screenplays, I'm gonna focus on making YouTube, and when I'm not focused on YouTube, I'll focus on, like, music. I see. And so it's like I can jump between the That's things. awesome that you can, that you have all those different abilities and that you can kind of jump in between them. Yeah. I don't feel... <laughs> like I have that. <laughs> but you can sing, you can act, yeah. you have a YouTube channel, you yeah. have a personality that's like very good for YouTube if you Thank want you. it to. I mean, yeah, I mean, I do. YouTube has you kind got of the become the thing that I do when acting is frustrating. But I am yeah. not a writer, I'm not a musician, right. I can't write music. 
I don't either I don't have a thing that I can just like create on my own outside of like YouTube stuff mm -hmm. and thankfully I've like found that and that's like a nice outlet but I I don't know I'm just not as multi-talented I guess in the different things that I feel like comfortable doing or creative doing or, yeah or whatever yeah most of it's like I'm I have a skill set that's perfect for what I do and mm -hmm. that's YouTube mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. When I, yeah, when I try to take that and put it to other things, it doesn't always work out that mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And that's, I would say that's usually the case with most YouTubers, which mm -hmm. is why we can't cross over into the mainstream very easily. Mm -hmm. It's because you have to be a skilled worker in other parts of like entertainment mm -hmm. to cross over. Mm -hmm. And like when you plop a YouTuber off of their channel and put them on a stage mm -hmm. and then compare them to like the best comedians or the best musicians, mm -hmm. like... Sometimes they don't stack up. Sometimes they do, like Troy Sivan mm -hmm. or, or Bo Burnham's a good example, or mm -hmm. Grace Helbig. Mm -hmm. Like, they mm -hmm. made the crossover and they can do it. But mm -hmm. it's a hard leap. Yeah. Are you writing screenplays? Mm -hmm. Like, full-length scripts and stuff? I'm, doing, I'm working on TV. I'm working yeah. on a pilot that I want to sell. That's and great. I want to star, and I want to do it all. That's so cool. Yeah, but it's like taking a year and a half to just learn how to write. <laughs> uh, it's hard writing is a huge thing and I it's like very much a specific skill and if that's not where you're good at it's hard to learn how to do it yeah uh, final question somebody asked me if I know all of Harry Potter in 99 seconds and no but I know all of Lord of the Rings in 99 seconds there we go the Lord of the Rings Harvest Wars of the Men, Kings and Queens. And queens. Epicness. Oh, I didn't. I always go poetry, but that's not so much. Yeah. Else I tried to sing it live <laughs> at the last Geeky that's Con. That's amazing. Yeah, but I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> I didn't know my own song. I hadn't sung it in like years. Well, yeah, if you haven't done it, it was a bit. I did like 10 seconds and I was like, uh... <laughs> this is done. I, anybody else? <laughs> no, but nobody knows that one. I don't even it's know it. It's so good. It just gets stuck in my head for some, like when I think of the music, I think of like your words too. Like that, just that part. Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes. <laughs> I love it. So oh, good. gosh. Um, that was my freshman year of college. How, did you, like, time. I haven't watched it in a while. Did you, yeah. like, get a haircut? You, like, did the one, the one side, yeah, and then you got a haircut and did I the did. other side. I don't impressive. know what the hell I was thinking. It took me a while. I was like, is this two people? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I purposely well, got a haircut. That's awesome. Because I just, for some reason, I had this uh, alter ego in my early days of YouTube mm -hmm. where I would just sing with myself and convince people I had a twin for no reason. I, I wasn't sure. I know, but like, what's the point of that? Like, know. you being confused about if I'm one or two people does not help my brand, you know? There's like no reason to do that other than like, gosh, yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. So he like doesn't, he doesn't premiere very often, like my twin brother. Yeah. Does he have a name? Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a mess. Tell Brian hey, I miss him. Will do. He wears glasses. He's, he, he has shorter hair than me all the time. It's just part of his genetics. Oh my gosh, yep. that's so funny. Let me see what you made, John. Oh, let's see let's my, see my craft. jewels. This is they turn? the square. Oh, nice. I like it. Yeah, I tried, to, I tried to double up on the, on the glitter. I, like I don't know that. if that worked. No, I, I really like the green wise. ones. Ooh, that is see? nice. Green. <gasps> that's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah those look, are good. Look, mm. friends. That's great. Yeah. How about the red ones? Got some reds. Got, got some a couple reds. reds. I got two identical reds. Nice. Yeah, I love. Don't they look? I'm so, they, they look, look great. So cool. Like I'm the magnified. Like no, with you this. did. Yeah, this so is a good weird, crack. but I love it. Here's. Oh no, this one got a little slidey, and I might have to fix that. If you're doing it at home, you should probably wait a little longer than we waited to glue the magnet on, just because if the glue isn't dry, it'll get a little. Ooh. Whatever. Ta-da! Aren't they cool? Oh, I'm really excited. Well, thank you so much, John, for joining us today. Oh, no problem. I normally ask like, where can people find you? But I'm pretty sure everybody already follows you. Well, just in case, you could just search paint on YouTube. There you go. Oh, yeah, where did paint come from? My, my brother that. signed that up, signed up for it in 2005 because uh -huh. he played paintball. Oh, and he just called it paint? Mm-hmm. That's and, so And that was like back before anybody had a username, so he got the name paint. That's amazing. And that's where it comes from. It's like not, yeah. It's not like related to anything. I know. That's and now, cool, now it, it's like become a thing. I love and I'm it. like, mm. but you know, paint, <laughs> colorful. Kind of, it, yeah, it works. Artistic, yeah, it, I like it. It like is kind of there. There's something there. Well, go find him on YouTube and Twitter is John Cozart. John Cozart at John Cozart. 
Oh my gosh, you got so much glitter on your on your eyes. I'm gonna look so sparkly for the escape room I'm doing later. Oh, fun! Yeah. What's the theme? Do you remember what the theme is? He He's told a us. Bank bank, a bank robbery. A bank robbery. Let you know how it goes. Well, thank you again, John. Yeah, no probs. Thanks for watching, you guys. And until next time, craft your truth. <laughs> Thanks to Nikki Goad for sponsoring this video. Nikki, I hope you're doing wonderfully and having a great month. Thanks for being one of my patrons.